Hi, I'm Gregory Paolini, and in this episode of Table Saw Techniques, I'm going to show you a super easy way to bend wood using your saw stop table saw. So stick around. Wood's a hard material. It doesn't really want to bend, but we can make it bend. Most folks are familiar with bent lamination technique or steam bending. But there's another lesser known technique called kerf bending which works great too. And you can do it right on your saw stop. Let me show you how. The blade that I'm using for my kerfing is a combination blade. But you could use a cross cutting blade as well. And I've removed the blade guard and installed the riving knife. Because for the cuts we'll be making for kerf bending, we will not be cutting completely through the wood. Before you can start bending the wood, you need to determine the spacing of the kerfs for the desired radius. Basically, if I want to bend a piece of wood in a 6 inch radius, how far do I have to place the saw kerfs in order to do that? The first thing you need to do is determine the radius of your bend. So, on this piece of poplar, I'm going to bend it, let's say, a 6 inch radius. So, the first thing I want to do is mark out 6 inches. Next, I want to raise my blade height so that it's just a little less than the thickness of the wood I'm working with. At this blade height, there should be about a sixteenth of an inch of material remaining. Next, I'm going to make a cross cut at my six inch mark. And you can see that the saw kerf has not gone completely through the material. Now I'm going to take my board clamp it to a flat surface and then measure how high I can lift the board and that measurement is my minimum kerf spacing or the amount of space in between each kerf in order to get the radius that I need. So I'm looking at about a one inch spacing here. Again, the amount of lift is the minimum spacing. You can always add more curves if you want for a smoother curve and less faceting on the reverse side. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put some tick marks every inch And this is where I'm going to cross cut in order to get my six inch radius. Again, these measurements are specific to this setup and this blade height. So you'll want to do a test cut for your radius, for your material thickness, in order to calculate your spacing. Now before I get started, it's important that I have proper safety gear. I need safety glasses and I'm going to want ear protection. And now all I'm going to do is line up my spacing marks with the blade and begin making cuts. And that's how simple it is to kerf bend using your saw stop. Be sure to join me again for another episode of Table Saw Techniques.